Alright, what is up guys? Optical Clutch here. Back with another video and in this video I'm actually going to be going over my best class setups. Like every class that I've used to get to this level that I am right now, which is the maximum level that you can receive. As you can see, I've unlocked all of this clothes that you are only ability to get from Grand Master Prestige, so let's get into it. I have my search and destroy classes, and I have my respawn classes. Now, here's my search and destroy class. Um, I'm gonna want to use suppressor because if you it, like, search and destroy is a lot better to have those kind of attachments and perks that you're gonna be able to stay off the radar and make your gun battles a lot better so I use O profile no matter what regardless on every single class it's the most annoying thing that once you get that once the enemies get a UAV you feel like a fucking narc because you feel like you're so like I don't know that's, that's just my feeling okay now I use peripherals and search because what happens is whenever you take out an enemy it does not display their death location so if you kill someone at a the enemies won't run directly to a they'll stay at b because they won't know and with the silencer attachment they won't even know you killed them because your your shots won't even be on the radar which is a beast perk and fast hands of course is to put that little exo mute system thing out faster and also if you don't know in search and destroy there's a glitch to quick diffuse and quick plant you just have to go up and down on your um analog stick as you plant or diffuse now toughness is first last one shot because your gun battles is going to be a lot better for it's going to be a lot more important because you only have one life as you know in search now blast suppressor um it's just you're invisible without performing exo moves now i'm gonna take scumpy's quote here um yeah if they can see you on the map you, you should you can already consider yourself dead there's no point in not using this perk um this is one of the most important perks and then of course your exo mute system because you don't want to use overclock in search because it's not worth it um you just run faster but this is very important say you're a 1v3 situation okay and you need a clutch you put this on with everything else that you have all your perks that keep you off the radar keep you off everything with this exo mute system not only will i be able to see you on the map they won't be able to hear you which is amazing now i don't recommend any other perks um Except maybe cloak if, if you're about that, but as I said You have all the perks that already benefit you to not be able to be seen on the radar So here we go, um, I'm just gonna go down now that I um, Explain my decisions for everything now. Here's my AK rip class um, If you don't have the rip you're gonna want to go with the hair trigger ak any of these whatever you want just all right if you don't have the rip class do not use these attachments you're gonna want to use bore grip silencer and quick draw not extended extended is just for the rip thing now if you have any other variant um if you have this do not use it it's the shittiest one ever all right you're gonna want to use bore grip um silencer and quick draw scratch the extended hope that makes sense to you the reason why i use um don't use foregrip is because this is a like there's no recoil so there's no point now this one is all around everything no matter what hbr you have you're always going to want to use these attachments and all of these perks for our search well you could pause the video and copy that class right now the rigor is Different between everything as you see all these perks are the same except this all right now We're not using silencer as we are and everything else 
because we need the advanced rifling on the rigger because it's an SMG. Okay, now we're gonna use lightweight since it's SMG. You want to be more mobile and stuff. Now, always use low profile. You're not gonna want to use uh, peripherals because you don't need that initial not being able to see the death location since they're already gonna be able to see you on the map so there's no point in doing that you could see where that goes into play um fast hands for sure to put that exo device quicker and also um be able to do the glitch um toughness of course for better gun battles you need that and blast suppressor as i already explained just copy that now here we go is my probably favorite one um it's similar to everyone else um, all right now you're gonna use low profile of course your bow is the most dominant gun in the game um, of course those attachments for every single bow um, then you're gonna use low profile of course fast hands of course for the glitch and also you'd be able to switch out your guns quicker um, if you don't know, it's a it's a lot better. Okay, say you're shooting somebody and then you see someone long range. You see that flip real quick? It's a quick flip. Without that, you'd be taking way too long. Now, toughness of course for better gun battles because you only have one life. Um, and of course blast suppressor because I already went over that. Now that is all my search and destroy classes. You could copy that real quick. I'm gonna stay on each one as I talk, and you could pause and you could copy if you haven't already. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Now let's get into the respawner classes. Now I spelled this backwards. I know it looks whack because for some reason, let me just show you guys. It's awkward. A W N. Yeah, I don't understand. So I spell it backwards. Um, Obsidian Steed, of course, same attachments because you don't have to use Obsidian Steed. Um, actually, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Any gun use these attachments, okay? Now, if you have the Inferno, if you're lucky enough to get the Inferno, scratch the suppressor attachment, and you're gonna want to put foregrip. I mean, quick draw grip. All right. Now, that is the only exception. If you have that gun, then do that. But everything else, this this thing. Then you're gonna use low profile, of course, to stay off the map. Blind eye to get off of the, um, like if they have a sentry gun, you could not die. You could stay on your streaks. You could do anything you want. You could go for them DNA hypes. Um, the cold blooded is so that you don't get seen with those gay boys with thermal and there's no name call out so it just keeps you more stealthy basically and you want to use blast suppressor um to keep off the radar of course and you have signs or you're going to be stealthy all around then you want to use scavenger instead of um actually toughness because your gun battles aren't that important anymore and you should be able to win your gun battles if you're a skilled player now hardwired is a very good one but if you're going on a streak most likely likely you the enemies are not going to get those system hacks and stuff so you don't have to really worry about that but if you would say anything this is a really good perk i just can't find the way the reason to swap out any of these okay now uav of course now you're going to use threat detection which is amazing you could see them through the wall literally and wait for them to come to you it's the best thing ever okay as you can see, I already talked about my AK-12. Copy these perks. Um, AK-12, um, silencer, quick draw, and foregrip if you don't have the rip. But if you have the rip, this is the perfect combo. Um, then Insanity, you're going to want to use same perks as all. Um, stock, quick, um, foregrip, and suppressor. Now, that's on any um, HBR. Now, the rigger is a little bit different. Um, since we're not using silencer, we're going to be seen on the radar. You are just want to use low profile just in case they get um, UAV. So, you're not seen 24-7, as I said. Um, you're going to use blind eye cold blooded, of course. I already went over that. You're going to use a UAV for sure. Hardwired instead of your blast suppressor. Since you're not using silencer, you're going to be seen on the radar anyway. So, you're just going to use hardwired to keep you off of any of those initial 
system hacks, you, you won't be fucked over by that. And then scavenger, of course, since it's respawn, and I, I don't know what to put here. As you can see, this is what I had there, but I don't see a reason to use that in respawn. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this class setup. I'm just going to go over these so you can copy them, pause the video, copy them. Um, I hope you enjoyed these this um class setups now nah, I, I believe that this is the best class setups that you could get in this game um i've been playing a long time so you could definitely trust me i'm not a troll i'm not gonna give you shit that doesn't work this is really good um well i hope you guys enjoyed this best class setup video um I'm telling you, even if you're a noob, use this. You will find success if, as long as you're not playing against tryhards. Because um, the skill-based matchmaking, you'll be able to play against your skill level. And this will just give you the benefit. Okay? Um, Optical Clutch signing out. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and like the video if you enjoyed and you're going to use these class setups. Well, Optical Clutch signing out. Peace out, guys. Catch you later.